recent years, concerns have grown over the persistent underachievement of boys in primary school literacy. The gender gap is greatest in writing, but Ardley Green Junior School in Essex is one of the schools currently bucking this national trend. Literacy levels for both girls and boys are above average and the boys are catching up with the girls. OK, good morning. If you want to just um, find a new page in your draft and edit books and start having a look for the words on the board, I'll explain why you need them after register. Louise Bartlett is literacy coordinator at the school. Today we join Louise and her year six class to find out what makes literacy appeal to boys as well as girls. This term, year six, is looking at non-fiction text types. Abolition. If you abolish something, what do you do? Tom. Um, it's, it means bring to end by the law. Good. If I assert something, Alex. Assert means you dis declare forcefully. Good. Our subject this morning is fox hunting. To be successful, by the end of this week, you should be able to say to yourselves, I can explain how to organise information in a balanced report. OK, so that's what we're looking at with our writing. And in order to get there, we're going to speak about the subject, we're going to read about the subject, we're going to think about the subject. For fox hunting, against fox hunting. Line down the middle. By showing the class a video on fox hunting, Louise hopes to provide initial ideas and stimulate discussion through a medium familiar to all children. To feel confident enough to talk about a subject, you've obviously got to begin with some subject knowledge. Either that has to come through linking your literacy work to a cross-curricular topic, or you have to give the children adequate talk time and introduction time to a new subject. I want you to take one minute as a table to discuss reasons why people fox hunt and then on one whiteboard between your table come up with your chosen reason for fox hunting. Off you go. An emphasis on talk and time to reflect will allow boys to organise their thoughts and gain confidence in expressing their ideas before they begin writing on any subject. They kill a lot of poultry. Yeah. Shall we write that down? Right, what ones, what ones do you think? What ones? It's quite important, particularly in a mixed ability classroom, not only that you yourself talk about it, but once the ideas have started to be absorbed, that you then have the more confident children reasserting the ideas. Um, they tend to act as a sort of scaffold for the, for the less able children, or the children that, that aren't as confident in speaking. Foxes kill animals like farm animals, and they carry diseases. Also, the job provides money for the fox hunters. Good. Who came up with any reasons against fox hunting? They sometimes chase the foxes for, like, hours, and then the fox gets really tired out, and it's not really fair. Good. What I've got for you here is one way of organising a balanced report. The children are looking at a good example of a balanced report with writer's eyes. Investigating the structure and language features in a concrete example like this will benefit boys who tend to be systemizers, enjoying taking things apart to see how they work. So who would like to read our introduction for us? Cassie. The issue of whether fox hunting should be banned has been debated by people in England for many years. In terms of differences of taste, the boys do tend to veer towards non-fiction and boys appear to be or are much more willing to write if they've got a particular audience. But there are ways of getting boys interested in fiction writing. Writing in role is a strength that seems to have come out from this term. OK, so is this written in the past tense, in the present tense, or in the future tense? Present. Present tense, good. 
we're just going to look at the conclusion. Anya, the literacy strategy leads the genre of text that we study, but within that, I mean, we obviously try to be sensitive to the interests of the children. What does it do that makes the reader go away and think a particular feature of language in there? Does anyone think they can spot one? We've got the question mark, uh, so it's the sentence is a question. Okay. For today, I think that gives you a brief overview of the issues around fox hunting. We can go on to look more deeply at the issues tomorrow. Also, I hope it has given you an introduction to the language features that you want to be using when you write your reports. OK, we're going to move on now to, for you to go and do your group tasks. Companionable writing through group work has been identified as a key way of supporting boys' literacy. Each day at Ardley Green, one group of children leaves the classroom to work on a speaking and listening task. Who wants to be the interviewer? The carousel system involves planning literacy for the entire week. That obviously needs quite sensitive planning in that sometimes there are activities that are more difficult that may need to be used first by your more able pupils so that they can act as a model for the other groups as the week goes on. On the other hand, these are the people who are against yeah, that's what Joe ICT can also improve boys' perceptions of literacy and raise their achievement. Computer games, email and websites all throw up opportunities for reading and writing, often more engaging to boys than forays into less familiar static types of text. The tasks themselves are usually differentiated so that the task sheet for a more able group will have more challenging activities and an extension, whereas a task sheet for the more needy pupils will include more information, um, extra examples, and be simplified. To and move over to a belief. belief or to a course of action. Speakers and listeners, people. Hello, welcome to Channel 5 News. We're having a debate whether we should carry on fox hunting or ban it. The following people are for fox hunting. Adam is a dog breeder, Matthew the fox hunter and Race Farmer Jones. The following people what tends to work particularly well with boys in getting them to speak is getting them to speak in role. So if they're not actually having to speak as themselves, expressing an opinion or an emotion, if they can do it through being a particular character, or through being an interested party, um, then they're, they're much more willing to put themselves on the line. Matthew, why are you for fox hunting? Because there are thousands of foxes out there in the world and fox hunting is a very interesting sport. And plus, it doesn't harm, harm the foxes because it's only a little bite on the neck from the dogs. How do you know it doesn't hurt them? You're not being bitten on the neck by a dog. Thomas, why are you against fox hunting? I'm against it because they're foxes, that it's just stress for them. And also it disturbs the wildlife and, the na and nature. And the most important thing it disturbs is me, I hate it. The other children are asked to comment on the performance. It doesn't take long with other, other classmates as your critic saying, well, actually, I, I don't think you've got anything done because you didn't use your time very sensibly before they actually think, no, we want to be praised by our classmates. Now, you've seen both sides of the argument. Now it's your turn to, to decide. Should fox hunting be banned? <laughs> OK, you've got one minute to discuss as a group and come up with your positive or your way forward. Off you go. We couldn't do the job that we do in Year 6 without this being a whole school ethos. Year 3 have a very tough job in getting the children to realise that somebody giving them a way forward isn't criticising them, it's helping them. But that's established there and as it comes through the school, the, the, the children become more accepting of that. They should, they should show, show more expression. expression. For example, the dog breeder, Adam, he should have shown more anger because he was about to lose his job. And his home. Yeah, and his home.
that's given you a few ideas to think about, but certainly the targets that you were given last week, introduce the interviewees and include more content, they can definitely be ticked off, so well done. All right, come and sit down. Okay, last week, um, I promised after you wrote your persuasive letters that we would choose a writer of the week for lots of reasons that I'm going to explain right now. Ryan, you are our writer of the week. Give him a clap. Boys in particular thrive on competitive tasks. Generally, when we have Writer of the Week, we spend most of the time looking at the positive within their writing and looking for the highlights or the high points of their work. Dear Sir, I am writing to you to try to get you recycling. You see, the rubbish amount in Great Britain is rising each year. Did you know that, that you yourself collect 300 kilograms of waste each year? So just imagine six The children here do seem to enjoy success and even those children that are reluctant to stand out still enjoy the fact that their work goes on the wall. A system for peer marking has also proved successful at Ardley Green. Um, I think you could have added a few more adjectives and um, a little bit more about the trees. The hard part of teaching with boys and writing um, generally is features like punctuation and sentence construction. When a piece of work's marked, down the margin there is little inserts and it, it says at the beginning of the line what they should put in. They then have to go back, find that piece of missing punctuation, put it in and tick it off. Because I think if you go down the road of actually doing the editing for boys, um, the attitude seems to be this is lovely. Not only has the teacher read my work um, and marked it, but she's also corrected it for me. And they, they never actually go back and look unless they have a directed task in order to go back and improve. Um, I put the, your way forward. Um, I thought you'd, I thought you'd have a bigger introductory paragraphs because um, put a little put a statistic maybe in there. But I liked like how you use your persuasive sentences. Yeah, I'll go. The choice of topics to cover the literacy work tends to be based on purpose and audience really. For example, we covered the topic of recycling last week and they all had the opportunity to write to their own family. I'm going to give you your original copies of your letters back and we're going to post them off. So your parents will be receiving a very persuasive letter encouraging them to use those orange sacks that come through the door and to use the bottle banks, OK? Research into ways of improving boys' literacy suggests that the key lies in overcoming boys' negative perceptions of themselves as writers and learners. At Ardley Green, an emphasis on purpose, pride and collaborative peer support is boosting both boys and girls' self-esteem and achievement. All this works thanks to a coherent management of learning at whole school and classroom level.